Hi, my name is Malia. It is Wednesday, September 25th, and we will be meditating on three passages of scripture. So the first one I will be reading is 2 Corinthians 4, 10 through 12 in the ESV. Always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. For we who live are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. The second scripture we'll be reading is Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ, It is no longer I who live, but Christ that lives in me. In the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. And the last scripture we'll be reading is found in Philippians 3, and it says 10 through 11, but we are going to back it up a little bit, Um, 3 8b through 11 because i think before the before part is important too for his sake i have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish in order that i may gain christ and be found in him not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law but that which comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God that depends on faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and may share his sufferings, becoming like him in his death, that by any means possible, I may attain the resurrection from the dead. So we're going through the book, um, Quest 52, uh, by Mark Moore, and found on page 247. The last last sentence really resonates with me. On the last page, it says, If we lay down our lives, God will raise us up. This means, expounding on this, if we are selfless and take on the character and the mindset of Jesus, then he will lift us up, not for the glory of us, but for the glory of God. Again, going back to this question, what do these verses saying about being crucified with Christ? We are not shackled by our sin. Our sin is nailed on a cross with Jesus. When we continue to repent and confess our sins and strive for a heart like his, I want to pull up another passage that is also important, Luke 23, 32 through 34a, and also in the ESV, it says, two others who were criminals were led away to be put to death with him. And when they came to the place that is called the skull, there they crucified him and the criminals, one on his right, and one on his left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Church, let us take on his character in the heart of Jesus. He was not concerned about his excruciating pain that he went through. He was thinking of us. He was thinking of you. Being crucified with Christ is living for God from the inside out in a way that we see the broken and lost people around us and willingly stepping up to the plate to be the hands of your Jesus. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this time and thank you for this time to just reflect on you in all of your glory. Please humble ourselves and just be servants who are like-minded to just raise you up higher and higher. We love you so much and thank you for the sacrifice and let us just be selfless, just like the heart that you share with us. In your name we pray. Thank you. And until I see you again, we are sent for grace.